Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. I'm so happy to be back with you guys today. Um, before we go ahead and start, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we just come before you. We want to thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for letting us wake up and to breathe in another day that you created for us, Lord. I ask that you bless this time that we are going to be spending together in your word, Lord, that you would just have our hearts and our minds just focused on you, Lord, and you only. We love you and we praise you. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, so I hope everyone is having a good day so far. I'm so happy to be back with all of you. Um, I hope you all woke up and were blessed um, by something. Um, well, I guess waking up is being blessed in itself. So <laughs> um, um, so like with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in. So we all struggle with spiritual discouragement. Sometimes our circumstances threaten to overwhelm us and we struggle just to pray. So many times we have heard um, we've had a hard time and we don't feel like doing the things we want to do and we know that we should be doing. For some reason or another, we seem to feel God so far off and away from us. Um, David faced this a few times. So a book that comes to mind is Psalms. There are so many verses that express his despair and abandonment. So not only does it show us that, but also how to live victoriously during the really hard times and dark periods in our life. Um, so we're going to be in Psalm 119, verses 89 through 95. So I'll give you guys a few seconds to turn there. <clears throat> All right, so starting in verse 89, it says, Forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Your faithfulness continues throughout all generations. You establish the earth, and it stands. They stand this day according to your ordinances. So our circumstances or our feelings have not changed God. He is the same God today as he was when he hung the stars in the sky. He led the Israelites to the Red Sea. He fed the 5,000. Then it says, for all things are your servants. All things, even the things affecting us right now, are God's servants. The circumstance, the people, the events that take place in our lives around us are all under God. And so they are his servants designed to help us and bless us spiritually. We learn from these. And so then it goes on to say, if your law had not been my delight, then I would have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your precepts. For by them you have revived me. I am yours. Save me, for I have sought your precepts. The wicked wait for me to destroy me. I shall diligently consider your testimonies. So recalling God's faithfulness and control over everything that touches us gives us the strength to walk with God, even when we feel like giving up in despair. And so after all, our feelings and our circumstances still have not changed God. He is still the same God. And so he is perfectly capable of sustaining us if we feel like we just can't let him. Um, we simply need to choose to delight and diligently consider God's precepts, his principles and character. So despite how we feel. So choosing to delight in God might not be easy sometimes, but it might even involve hard work. Um, but only God can revive and save our soul from spiritual um, lethargy. So next time you feel spiritually drained or inadequate, remember that you have a choice. You can wrap yourself up in excuses and self-pity, or you can choose to draw your strength from an unchanging God. Let's go ahead and close in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we just come before you and thank you for this opportunity to be together in your word this morning, Lord. Um, I ask that you bless the rest of this day and that let us just to remember that you will never change. You will always be there. You will help us through any circumstance, any trial, and that we can just call on you and pray to you and you will be there. We love you and we praise you. In your name we pray. Amen. All right. Bye, guys.